Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about logbooks. As you see, we have an engine logbook and an aircraft logbook, and since 91, we've been, we've been required to carry a propeller logbook. Now, Sporties makes these ASA for your pilot logbooks, and but we're going to start here with what we do with a three-wing binder for your aircraft records. Now, there's a lot that goes into your logbooks for your airplane, both of the engine and all. And one of the things will be the altimeter chart, which you'll be seeing come up here in a minute. It gets stapled in your logbook so that you can keep track of it. It also goes onto your equipment list when it has to be redone. Now, the other things that you'll see in logbooks are logbooks add to the value of the airplane or detract from it. So we've all seen entries that are minimal or less, like I certify this aircraft has been inspected with an annual inspection blah 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 and that's all you see what else did they do oil change anything else you also see statements where the work was completed by some center on work order number xxxx and for copies of it contact them which they'll usually con charge you about twenty five dollars a page to have that fax to you what you want are details in the logbook entry so that you can see what's been going on to the airplane and you have a, a view of it so anyway we hope you found all this useful and informative so the better your log entries, the more value for your airplane. Take a worst case scenario. You've got minimal entries. I certified this aircraft for 40 years. It means it's got the original tires. It's got everything original on because nothing's in the logbook about ever being changed. And here's an example Tiger equipment list. As you can see, it shows you what you have in the airplane, the name of it, what it weighs, and what station it's at. And this gives you all the equipment that's in your airplane. And so we'll have these available electronically so that you can keep what you have and, and rearrange what the ones that you want to add to your airplane and keep it all current. Now, for any additional information you need, you can always scan it in with a scanner like this. You'll get a PDF, and then from the PDFs, you can store them electronically, or you can print them out and put them into the uh, manual. And here's what the upcoming inspections look like. By both tack time and calendar time, it gives you a list of things that you can refer to that tells you when your filters need to be changed, when you need to have your medical, whatever you need to know for that airplane to stay legal with the FAA. So here's what it all looks like in practice. We have a cover sheet so we know what airplane it goes to. Then we have our airworthy directives, which we haven't done the new ones yet, but here are the historic ones all bound together. When we add the new ones, we will write superseded across all of these after we verify that all this information is correct and matches the logbooks. We have a weight and balance report and an equipment list to be printed out. We have our 337s and also our supplemental type certificates. These are amendments to the normal airplane. So you start with a normal airplane and then you modify it either via these and that gets the airplane that you're going to inspect. And then here are your aircraft inspection records along with um, continued airworthiness instructions and special inspection instructions. And then general service information you really want to carry. Like we have the airworthy certificate, a copy in the log, registration, type certificates for the aircraft, the engine, and propeller. We have the ADs forward, additional service information, information about the appliances, and anything else that we might find that we ever need. And then we just start adding them all up. Now in these we have receipts and battery information. We haven't finished organizing all of this yet, but we're working on it, including receipts from other suppliers. Now in the front of the book, use these three ring binders because you can put a lot of information in here. But we have the, I'll just take them out, we have the current engine logbook, propeller, engine, and then we have a, a bag which is uh, equipment manuals all for the air that are in the airplane that you can reference. And then we also have a bag back here. Oh, get the Velcro loose again. We have a bag of old logbooks, the original logbooks that came from the factory. So you can put a lot of information. We're going to find up all the receipts and all back here, but we're going to take all this information that goes to the new owner as part of it. So this is what they look like in practice as we talked about them in theory earlier. So we hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks for watching and have a good day flying your Grumman.